As a homeowner myself, I understand that there's a lot of questions and it can be quite scary filing an insurance claim. You know, whether it's your, your first claim or you've had claims in the past, unfortunately, there's a lot of, um, you know, bad experiences that we've all had or maybe heard uh, of from other people when they file insurance claims. So I wanna kinda help answer a few questions on how to ease the burden of filing an insurance claim. Now, one of the, especially when it comes to hail damage, one of the first things you really wanna make sure that you do is that you have a professional look at the damage and verify damage prior to filing an insurance claim. Because if you file an insurance claim and you end up not having damage, that insurance claim still goes on your record and it can negatively affect you. I think that's one of the questions that a lot of us ask ourselves is, is this gonna negatively affect me? And unfortunately, insurance claims can negatively affect you. However, we have insurance for a reason. So if you have damage, if you have something that, that's significantly wrong with your home that was caused by a hailstorm or a windstorm or some sort of significant event, then we wanna make sure to get it fixed and get it fixed correctly with, with the one claim that you have to file. Now, filing an insurance claim is actually fairly simple. All you have to do is every insurance carrier has a 1-800 number or an online you know, app these days where you can just go online and file a claim. They're gonna just verify, one, that you're the policy holder. They're gonna verify what type of policy that you have. And then they're gonna issue a claim number and then assign it to a claim adjuster. Once that's done, the, uh, the adjuster will usually call you within a day or so to set up an appointment. But there's a couple other things that, that come up when, when thinking about filing insurance claims. And one of the big ones is, how long is it gonna take? The another one is, how is this gonna affect my insurance? Is my rates gonna go up? Now, insurance claims can take quite a while, unfortunately, because you never know what exact coverage you have and you don't know how long it's gonna take for the adjusters to get there. Sometimes there's mortgage checks that are issued that, that if, if you do get a claim, the, the, oftentimes the check is written to the homeowner, but it's also gonna have the mortgage company on it. And that can take a while to process. It can take a while to send the check to the mortgage company to get that process, to get, then get the check released and sent back to you. Um, you. There's also, unfortunately, sometimes there's delays in material, there's delays in labor, there's delays with weather, there's delays with you know, making sure that, that, that the, the, the contractor and the insurance carrier agree on everything on the scope of work to make sure that you, the homeowner, get what you need and deserve, get, get back to whole which is our goal as contractors. We wanna make sure to get you back to whole, get your home back to just as good, if not better, than it was in a pre-loss condition. The other piece there is, the big question is, is this going to affect my rates? Now, I am not an insurance adjuster, I am not a, uh, an executive for an insurance company, but from, from what I do know about this industry, and been doing this for about 20 years now, is that, the, the rates that you pay for your insurance is not based specifically or solely on your claim history. What it's based on is the claim history in the area that you live in. So unfortunately, whether you file a claim or you don't file a claim, if there's a damage in the area that you live in, there's a good chance that your rates are gonna go up whether you file a claim or, or not. So in that case, and you do have damage, maybe sometimes you wanna to lean towards filing a claim. However, one last thing on this is I wanna make sure that you understand that we don't just file a claim just because we of a couple little marks or a couple little things on your roof. A lot of roofing contractors will tell you to file a claim no matter what, and we don't operate that way. Find a contractor that's gonna, gonna do a thorough and honest inspection on your roof because I would rather be conservative because I wanna earn your business for life, not just for one time. So be conservative. If, if you have the damage, you have the damage, we need to file a claim. If you don't have damage or don't have enough damage to justify a claim, then maybe you hold off and you let it ride and you let, it, uh, you let your roof go for a little bit longer. Thank you, have a great day.